This recording is intended to show you how to download a worksheet from Take Charge Today or another site that has interactive pages for students and upload it to Google Drive and share out. So here I am on the Take Charge Today website and I'm within a lesson plan, Savings Tools. I want to download the interactive components to share out with my kids. So in Take Charge Today, it's right here and it's loaded as a zip file. So I'm clicking on that and it's downloading over here. All um, downloads look a little different depending on your platform and your computer. And then I'm going to open that zip file in my download section. And I am going to find whatever it is. So I double clicked on my downloads. I'm on a Mac, so it's a little bit different maybe if you're on a PC or depending on how you have it set up. But let's say the worksheet I want to share with the kids is a letter to Jane Rubric, because I'm going to have the kids fill it out for one another. So here's our letter to Jane Rubric. At this point, it is interactive, but I need to share it out in a secure fashion with my kids. So that needs to be, you know, in Edmodo, Schoology, or something like Google Drive. So what I do is I save this to my desktop. So I'm going to go File. And I don't have a save option, save as option here, so I'm going to export it. Yours will look a little different. And just for really quick temporary purposes, I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can find it when I upload it to Google Drive. So I've got my rubric that I want to share with the kids, and I have saved it temporarily to my desktop. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive, and I'm going to upload this interactive worksheet that I want to share with my kids. So I pressed on the up arrow. I know I saved it to the desktop and the one I wanted to upload and share is in my letter to Jane rubric on my desktop. So here we go. I'm going to open that and it's going to go ahead and download to my drive. So obviously at this point this is only shared with me. There's a lot of ways that you could immediately share it with your whole class. For instance, if you've already shared up, um, if you already have folders and you from here uploaded it to that folder, so if I would have pressed upload file here, it would have shared with that entire group. So if I've set up a class group or folders, that's one way to do it. The other way is right over here is my letter to Jane rubric I want to share. So if I press share here, I can just type in all of the email addresses of my students. This might seem overwhelming if you've got a hundred some students. So what I suggest is at the beginning of a semester or quarter, you create a spreadsheet with all the kids' email addresses. If you think that will take you 10 million years, you could create a Google form and quickly get everyone's email addresses as well. But that's are, those are a couple of ways you could share it out. You could also turn it into a web page, but that's a different tutorial. So here you go. You're typing in their email addresses, and then you share and save it. I don't have any recipients, so I'm going to cancel. But you obviously would have your student emails. And now it's shared with your kids. So when your kids go to open up this letter to Jane, like we did here, here it is in Google Drive. Let me go back. That didn't probably make sense. I'm going to go to my drive in recent. Here it is, letter to Jane. So they're going to get it, and it's going to look like this when they open it up. Um, since it's an interactive PDF, you can't just type in from the view. So you can either choose how to open it, and if I press Google Drive Viewer, it's, it's probably still not going to be interactive. So I'm I press Google Drive Viewer and again it's not still not interactive. So you're going to have to go one step further and get it into preview. So I press this arrow here to try and get it in preview. And then I'm going to have to answer this question and we'll keep this cuz I know Take Charge today is a reputable um, site that and it wouldn't have viruses. So now my worksheet is interactive in viewer. So the kids would type in their answers and then they would file, save it to their desktop, and then share it with you. 
So that's a pretty long process, and I do think it would take the kids a couple chances to get it right. So it may be easier to use a learning management system such as Edmodo or Schoology. Hope that helps a little bit.